What up, y'all? man, of American. These hats on me funny. Whatever, I'll just take it off. Um, you know, you hear a lot of times out here women talking about how hard it is to be a woman. And when we look at the world and how the world is set up right now, there's probably nothing easier to be than a woman. Now, obviously, this is easy for me to say as a man. I have zero experience as a man. But looking at the world and how it operates right now, I mean, women can basically get away with near murder. And sometimes they actually do get away with literal murder. Um, and get a man, get a life, have their life, you know, and have everything set up for them and have a lot of deference from society. So my challenge to you gentlemen is this. I'm not saying be a savage, but stop having like a bunch of sympathy for these women when they start talking about life is hard and this, that, the other, blah, blah, blah. You know what that is? The, and I talk about this a lot, you know, the comparative that if there's a loser man, there has to be a loser woman. This is somebody who, who, this is a woman who goes through life on instinct, you know, she is just so lost. You know what's hard for women? Choice. Options. That's what's hard for them. They have so many options that they don't know what to do. They don't know which move to make. And I say it a lot. Go shopping with a woman. You'll see exactly what I'm talking about. The more options they have, the longer it takes them to decide something. And then when they decide on it, they have doubts about it as to whether or not it was the right thing. Well, when it comes down to relationships and life, it's not much different. So much is being thrown at the feet of women nowadays that they don't know what to do. And it's hard for them. This is why women in general like leader men, you know, men who are leaders. It, it makes their life easier not to have to decide, not to have to choose, to just go along with it. That's why they like dominant men who lead. Dude. When they say life is hard, it's because they have too many options. I mean, I suppose I could somewhat imagine what that would be like, I, I think. Although I couldn't because we're men, we're decisive. But just imagine if everything on, in life was handed to you on a platter. Just thrown at your feet. Hey, uh, you want this car? And then everybody's throwing cars at you. You know, you want this Audi, you want this BMW, do you want this, do you want that? But they're telling you you can only take one, aka men something like this, you know, work with me with the example here, it's probably a bad one, but you get the idea, and, um, you know, you're just like, oh man, if I get this one, it's got the quattro, it's got the four-wheel drive, but that one's got more power, this one's got this, but that one doesn't have that, and then you're sitting here thinking about all these things, and what you really want is the perfect car, aka the perfect man, I mean, you know, I'm comparing men to cars, but you know what I'm saying, and this, this is, this is the hard life they have, that, they might pick the wrong guy or wrong thing or wrong situation or wrong whatever and they're not going to be happy with it because something else is going to come along and it's going to drive them crazy that they don't have it instead of being content and happy with what they have you know stop stop trying to save them dudes you can't save somebody who has like so much put at their feet what are you saving them from all their options. Anyway, guys, that all that white knighting and trying to, you know, I'm not talking about white knighting. I'm not talking about online. I'm talking about like, you know, caping for the girls out there. Focus on what you want. Focus on getting what you want. Focus on getting what you want. Because them, they've got everything they could possibly need for the most part. Obviously, there's there's exceptions, but for the most part, women of the 21st century have everything that they could possibly want and need thrown at their feet. And so, what are you going to save them from? Anyway, I hope this video made sense to you guys. It's not really like a massive point, but at the same time, it is. Hopefully, you know what I mean. Man, I'm American. I'm out.